Rose Group, of course, sprang from Margaret Thatcher's speech at Bruges. Mr. Chairman, you have invited me to speak on the subject of Britain and Europe. Perhaps I should congratulate you on your courage. If you believe some of the things said and written about my views on Europe, it must seem rather like inviting Genghis Khan to speak on the virtues of peaceful coexistence. She clearly had begun to realize that we needed to restore self-government and independence to the United Kingdom. I want to set out some guiding principles for the future, which I believe will ensure that Europe does succeed not just in economic and defense terms, but also in the quality of life and the influence of its peoples. My first guiding principle is this. Willing and active cooperation between independent sovereign states is the best way to build a successful European community. To try to suppress nationhood and concentrate power at the center of a European conglomerate would be highly damaging and would jeopardize the objectives we seek to achieve. Europe will be stronger precisely because it has France as France, Spain as Spain, Britain as Britain, each with its own customs, traditions, and identity. It would be folly to try to fit them into some sort of identical European personality. The purpose of the Bruges Group will be satisfied when we have seen that done. We have not successfully rolled back the frontiers of the state in Britain, only to see them reimposed at a European level, with a European superstate exercising a new dominance from Brussels. Certainly we want to see Europe more united, and with a greater sense of common purpose. But it must be in a way which preserves the different traditions, parliamentary powers, and sense of national pride in one's own country. For these have been the source of Europe's vitality through the centuries. And then the Bruges Group can go on to make sure that within this kingdom, we never fall into the trap of authoritarian government. To see that we never grant the state excessive powers over the citizens, to see that we never lose again what we began to win in Magna Carta.